because America's adoption system I know is not great at whatsoever so I feel like that we really need to get that stepped up definitely McDonald's but yeah that is kind of my and I do feel like I'm like the only person in this world who thinks that which is fine and I do not expect you guys to agree with me you guys don't have to agree with me it's my opinion and you guys have your opinion which is fine but I'm kind of glad that the first opportunity I get to vote is in, it's a situation that I do care about and I do my research about that's exciting hello hi the last two and a half years are a blur a freaking man wow you look so beautiful thank you your eyes are trimming thank you i don't know what all those emojis are thank you thank you thank you hi hey i'm from kebab nice yeah i'm friends with all my followers why not Sure, we can be friends. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. You said the follow adoption work for Steve Jobs. I don't know. But nice to meet you. I don't really eat KFC. I eat Taco Bell. Oh my god. I'm not sure. No. <laughs> I feel like now that I'm actually single, I got a lot more attention. It looks that looks like a town in Missouri. I do a girl. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, see, Jobs adopted. Yeah, they're, they, they're. I feel like our adoption system right now is definitely a huge hit or miss. It's either it can go really bad for someone or it can go really good for someone, especially with teenagers and the adoption center, uh, and the adoption system. It's I know it's a lot harder. Um, I don't really know about Steve Jobs and his adoption, but that's, and, and obviously if you look at Steve Jobs, he is doing great. Um, yes, I am single. And it is 12, 30 here. Oh, nice. I know where St. Louis is. But yeah, um, I definitely do feel like that there is some people that do get the short end of the stick when they're in the adoption system. And there are some people that, you know, end up doing really well and, good for those people and I'm glad they find the people because like I don't know it's yes we were engaged obviously we're not anymore you look like Jake what <laughs> I look like a dude <laughs> but anyways so yeah um yeah I I've never been to Japan to Japan um I don't know. I definitely do feel like... I'm trying to think like how I want to word this. I'm also getting very distracted. Thank you. I chopped like 10 inches off of it. That's insane. I do not believe in magic. I... No, I do not understand Spanish. I keep getting distracted. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, yes. Adoption. Yes. I believe I am a Christian, and I believe that there, God has a plan for everyone, and if you abort a child, then you are taking away its chance of life, because I know a lot of people say, oh, it's just a fetus, it's not an actual living thing, it is a living thing, it, it has a heartbeat, and if you abort it, then you're taking away that sh- that chance of life from that from that child i keep getting distracted but yeah um so yeah that's one thing i definitely do think like you are taking away a chance of life from that kid um and i mean god he picks out a plan for every person no matter if they believe in him or not he has a plan for everyone and oh my gosh and I hope I hope I hope I hope I hope that people realize that abortions are not okay and I don't know 
I know I personally would never get an abortion. And I will also not judge a person who gets an abortion. I am not a, I'm not a person to judge. And I, I mean, obviously, I'm a human being. I judge people sometimes. And I'm meant to that. But I try my best not to judge. And I try to my best to keep to myself and love thy neighbor. Because, yeah. Um, and... So yeah, um, sorry, I can't like picking up this thing on my arm. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck? Anyways, so yeah, um, and like I said, I also feel like I'm like the only person like out of my friends and like family who they think this way. But yeah, and and I mean like and the bible and what i believe in abortions are and they'll go but yes i'm from america happy fourth of july thank you all right but i'm gonna get off here because i think i'll pick up my brother soon thank you I feel like I'm the like, the only person that thinks of pro like especially around me and around the people that I know. I feel like I'm like the only person that's pro life, and like I said, like at my church, he was talking about he was like talking about abortion because you know the whole overturn, the Roe versus Wade getting overturned, which I think is amazing by the way. But um, he was talking about it and it's like listen, like anyone here, like if you've had an abortion. God forgives people no matter what you do. If you ask for his forgiveness, he will forgive you. That's another thing. So, this is also kind of like why I'm like a little... I do not agree with with abortions, but I also do not agree with the fact of taking away birth control condoms and plan B. Because, one, taking plan B is not killing a child. It's just, you know, helping not get pregnant. And I do feel like condoms, birth control, and plan B are a responsible way of, like, I feel like birth control, plan B, and condoms are, like, a responsible way of if you are going to have sex and you do not want a kid, it's way better than getting those things than getting an abortion. So I don't agree with the fact that, okay, well, if they take away abortion, they're going to take away plan b birth control and all that stuff like i do not agree with that whatsoever but then i'm also thinking like i (laughs) i don't know and i am i am personally on birth control i am and it's not for those reasons it's for like period reasons or whatever and i i do not want to get taken away because that my birth control helps my body and helps regulate my body and it helps me a lot and so I hope I don't get that taken away, but right now it's fine in Kansas. But I do not like the fact of murdering child children. But yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. It's like the whole thing, I'm 50-50. I'm not having sex, so I will not be getting pregnant either way. But garden tool, what the fuck? But yeah. Um. So yeah. I and like I because like obviously you I graduated from high school this May, May of 2022. Thank you. You're so sweet. Um. Hey, Carlo. No. My name's Carly. Yeah, I'm so confused. Are you wearing shoes? Yes, I'm wearing shoes. Uh, okay, but I gotta go pick up my brother. So, I gotta go. Bye, guys.